Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and today I'm going to have a look at the application called Ulysses. I have been using Scrivener on Mac, but I want something that's going to work on both the Mac and on the iPad. And I've got a fair bit waiting for the iPad version of the Scrivener. The only thing is, at some point in time, Scrivener will come out with an iPad version, and you never know, I might go back to using the Scrivener on both of the platforms when I see how that looks. So anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got in this um, Ulysses application. Well, first start off, we've got things synchronizing through iCloud, but you can also have things synchronizing through other external areas. So for instance, you go to external files, tap on that one there, and we've got iCloud Drive documents, Google Drive, OneDrive, PDF Expert, Sync, Transmit, and more if you've got more in there. I've put the lot in there, but at the moment I'm not using any of those, but it's possible. And it is possible to get to work with stuff in Dropbox for some reason or it doesn't uh, write to it or read to it. One of, the, one of the two. And that is kind of a bit weird. Now, when you first get started, it's a good idea to have a look at the introduction. We've got the first steps here and we've got some more details and tips. So have a read through those and I think you'll find that's uh, quite a good way to get started with your use of Ulysses. Now then, let's have a look at iCloud. So we've got our three pane interface here. So on the uh, left pane there, we've got our sort of iCloud and how to get to your library and all that sort of stuff. So that's how we use that there. And we can have a look at all of our documents. So whichever group or project that you've put them into, you'll see all of them. You can have a look at what you've got in the last seven days. And you've got then the favorites. So the other one you can have a look at is trash. So if you've chucked something out, it doesn't mean it's gone forever, not unless you've deleted directly from the trash in this folder here. Now here we've got the group called Inbox. And with Inbox, I suppose if you want to throw some stuff in there, you're not quite sure which project or group you're going to put it into, or it's just something that's a one-off document, just throw it in there and you can do whatever you want with it at a later stage. I've got a group set up for my blogging and I'm putting all of my blog posts into this here. And I think that's a good way of doing it. So next thing we've got here is this one here is my book called Smoking Zombies. It's my uh, zombie story. So let's slide that across there to move that out of the way. We've got just two panes to look at now. And I'm going to go to this empty sheet at the bottom here. And we've got the uh, empty sheet or we've got one of the other documents in here. Whatever you want to have a look at. So. It's uh, easy enough to start a new document, just hit the plus button at the top there if you want to. And if not, let's just get started with doing something with this sheet here. I've tapped on that there and we've gone into the editing area. Now the first thing you'll see with this is that we've got the old keyboard prior to the iPad Pro. I'm using this on an iPad Pro so I should have the uh, new keyboard with this but uh, they haven't done it yet. And it could be a few months before it's going to be ready. But still, it's not too bad anyway, it's still workable. Okay, so let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to perhaps want to do is to put some headers in there. So let's uh, start with the header one. Uh, header starts off in Markdown with one of those hash symbols or a pound sign, as some people call them. Type enter twice and we can start putting in some body of the text. Mary had a little lamb. It had a sooty foot. So there you go. That's our first line of text in there. That's a good start, isn't it? This is another way of giving ourselves some headings. So for instance, maybe we want a heading two or a heading three. Tap on that there, and that'll give us our heading. And into Mary's bread and jam went that sooty foot. Let's just go into the uh, next one here we've got here. So let's just click on this here. And we can do out denting, indenting. We can put block quotes in there. And also we can have lists. So let's put a list in there. So uh, this is list one. And press enter to come down the line. This one's going to be list two. If you want to finish your list and start going into ordinary text again, just press the return twice and that starts us back into the uh, ordinary text. So now we are back into ordinary text. So another thing you might want to do is put a list in there with numbers. So we can do that with an ordered list. So there you go, we've got a numbered list. And again, press return twice and it gets us back into the ordinary text. Now then, let's have a look and see what else we can do with this here. We've got this one here, we can put in a divider. That's going to give us a dividing line in the uh, in the document. Let's choose this word here, number two. Select that, go to this one here, and we're going to put that as marked text. Let's choose this word here, select that, and we're going to turn that into emphasized text. And then we'll select this one here, this word here, select that, and we'll go to this one here, and we'll give that a bold or a strong text there. So, so there we go, we've put some text in there. Let's uh, choose the sooty foot. 
I'm going to select that there and we've got that there look so now we're going to choose that and we're going to go to this one here and we're going to turn that into a link so click on link and we put in that URL so no stylus.com we can put in a title for that there as well no stylus and we can get rid of that out of the way and tap on that there back into the setting now where we have the link we've got the um, rounded rectangle around it so that shows that it's a link We've got uh, the list um, where it says number two. We've got that sort of uh, markings to show that it's in the um, marked text. Oh, by the way, let's have a look at this. We've got Markdown XL. Markdown XL is the version of Markdown which uh, this application uses. And you can put it into ordinary Markdown and you'll get less things that you can do with it. So, But um, for making ebooks and stuff like that, maybe you want to be using this uh, Markdown XL. Especially if you're going to be using this and then moving something over into the uh, Mac version of this application. So let's have a look and see what this looks like as pure text. So this is what it looks like when it's out of the editing area and you can see that the uh, sooty foot has got the uh, inline link there. This doesn't do the reference links which I prefer but then when you're using this sort of um, uh, editor for it, it still looks readable you know there's a link there anyway. You can see our list and our numbers, we've got the other uh, thing at the bottom there, the, uh, the divider line and that's how it's looking in text. Let's move it into HTML and this is what it looks like if you put it onto a web page and we've got a header one in there, we've got a list and we've got another link in there and we've got a couple of different ways of looking at it. We can look at that style or we can look at the Georgia style and different ways of putting it into HTML, different style wise, okay? And let's move on to EPUB. This is if you're going to send it off to an EPUB uh, book. Okay, so copy into iBooks, tap on that there. And this takes it off into your iBooks application and, okay, there we go, so there it is, look. So that's just that page that's gone in there. It hasn't got the rest of the other stuff in there. If you want to push more into it, then what you have to do is you have to actually have all of these uh, selected. So for instance, if I was going to send all of it off, then I'd want to choose that, and then I'd go for, let's see, uh, this one here, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. And we've got different views of looking at this as well, so that's in the simple one. And other things you can change with this as well is that you can put the title in there, you can put the author in there, and you can also give it a cover image. Okay, so that's with uh, simple. We can also look at it in the default one. So it looks a little bit different, or we can put it into Meet Charter. So the other thing you can send it out as is as a PDF. So here's the PDF, and that's the one I just made there. And this is the uh, rest of the document that uh, we had already in there. So that's the PDF. And again, you can change that from different versions to different paper sizes. You can go for manuscript, novel, coaching. Okay, so there we go. Look, there's the... Uh, done a different style there and you can send them off out in doc the word documents as well so now what i'll do is let's put a picture in there so let's go to this one here we're going to go to image and uh, if you put a url into this here you want to make sure that you've actually got a picture at the end of that url otherwise it's not going to show up in the um, preview of it so uh, let's put the title of it and we're going to add an image so choose an image from the library and I'm going to use this one here. So I've got an image in there from the library. That's the image look. And go back to editing. So it just shows up in this uh, editing area as the uh, image there. Okay, so that's uh, page one in the um, Word document. And this is page two. And you can see there we've got the picture in there. And same works out with the uh, text. There's the Markdown notes or the Markdown, that's, uh, if you're going to export it as Markdown. In fact, if you're going to send this out as Markdown and you want to edit it in something else, um, such as putting it into, so it's going to be seen in Marked 2 on your Mac. So there's a different ways of putting it out as Markdown or you can put it out as the text bundle. Text bundle if you want to send it out and include the images as well. So, so that's um, sending out as text. We can put it into HTML. You see that's the HTML page. And if we put it into EPUB, that's the uh, ebook. Okay, so what we've got else? Um, we've got uh, annotations. We can put annotations in there. Um, the annotations all show up in your, and the footnotes as well show up in things like Word documents and also the PDFs. Tabs in there, so there's the tab. And if we want to put in the uh, open and close brackets, that opens the brackets there. So type in your text. It knows that the next thing he's going to have to do is to put into the, put the 
bracket to close the brackets. Okay, so I've got that selected. Clear markup, and now that worked. So it does clear the markup, but it doesn't do it on everything. Okay, so this is also another handy little thing. We've got little buttons here which moves the uh, thing across the uh, text, one state, one character at a time, going to the left or to the right. And of course, don't forget, since OS 9, you can put two fingers onto the keyboard or anywhere onto the pad there, and you can have it um, selecting text like that there. Now we've got a find on there as well. So if you want to find something, so I look for the word list. It says there's three matches there. I can go to the first one, the second one. It'll move me through it there. And if I want to replace it, so I can replace it with um, other word. So replace. It doesn't do a replace all on this here. You have to move it on to the next one there. So I move that to the next one. Replace. Move it on to the next one. Replace. Um, say I want to have this as a favourite. I've got to go into edit. And then from edit, I have this selected. And then go to more. And now I can add that to the favourites. So that's how you make a favourite. If I want to change the order of these here, get these, move them around, just by using the little, uh, what they call the hamburger thing, the three lines going across over on the right hand side, and you can move those up and down and put them wherever you want them. Okay, so I've got two sheets selected at the moment, go to more, and because I've got two sheets selected, it means I can merge the sheets. So do I want to merge the sheets? Yes, I do. Okay, so those two sheets are now merged. So another good thing is that you can use this with Daedalus, which is a note-taking application. So um, say, for instance, you're doing some work in Daedalus anyway, taking some notes or something, um, just uh, notes that are not connected to any group, throw them in there, and then when you get back to your Mac, you'll see all of your notes from Daedalus are available in the Mac application, Mac version of uh, Ulysses. So there you go. This is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and we've been having a look at what you can do with Ulysses. Bye-bye now.